welcome to Sprout Studio V3. My name is Brian Caparici, and I am your host and your tour guide for all of these V3 videos. In this particular series, uh, it's called the Your Checklist. Basically, we're making a series of videos here to help you take advantage of Sprout Studio V3 and really uh, dig in and use all the new functionalities. So we've kind of boiled it down to a handful of features that we want to really specifically show you and specifically have you set these things up so that you can start taking advantage of all the wonderful features that we've built for you in V3. In this particular video, we're gonna walk through saved views. Saved views are really exciting in Sprout Studio V3. It's a way to help you get organized, a way to set up your defaults in a way that works more with the way that your brain works so that you can set Sprout, out to Sprout up to look the way that you want it to look, function the way you want it to function, and uh, organize things the way that you organize your own photography business. So let's hop on in and set up a saved view together. I have the shoots list page opened up here. And as we talked about in the tour video previously, um, every one of the list pages in Sprout Studio V3 has this new saved view functionality up here in the top right. So you can view it on leads or on galleries or on design proofs or on contacts or on orders or any of those pages have this exact same functionality and you can customize it for each one of the pages. And so this checklist item is specifically to hop on into all those pages and set up these views the way that you want them to be set up. So the way that a view works or a saved view, I'm just gonna actually delete the one that I have in here. So we have nothing but the default which is what you will have by default as you get started here in V3. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the filter here. Now what you can do is you can filter this page and sort this page exactly how you want. So let's say that I wanna only view uh, my family shoots and I only want to view ones that have the status booked. And then even at that, I want to sort by age in reverse chronological order. So there's 53 days and then 59 days. So if this is a view that I wanna save in my system, I'm gonna click up here. Um, I'm going to save changes as new. I'm gonna call this booked families and I'm gonna leave the items per page as to auto and then I'm gonna go ahead and click save changes. And so now I have that as a saved view. So when I come into here, I can click in and go, here's all shoots. I can come in here and click, here's all my booked families. And as you go into that, now it's sorted by default by age. And now again, you can do that for really everything. I can go on in here and I can say, okay, I wanna only view, uh, let's go into weddings that are in the editing gallery state there. Great, so let's go ahead and save that. So weddings, editing. And I can go save. Close out the filter and there we are. So now I can really quickly and really easily filter between these and grab all those views and just see what I want to see um, in view here. And so this checklist item is just for you to hop on into all of your list views here and just set up some of your saved views, set up some of the views that you wanna have set up, that you wanna have available for you so that as you start using Sprout in the busy season, in the day-to-day -day in your business, you have these saved views already all set up and really easily uh, accessible for you to use and to filter your list pages.